on today's project, you see we got uh, Ferdy's tanker in here, the big tanker. Um, we got to work on the nursing kit because at the end of last year, you couldn't, you could, you can nurse, but when you swung over to spread plate, it would still, um, it would cover the manure tank because in this switch valve, see it has a knife valve right here. So that way when you're hauling down the road, there's zero chance. But when Josh built this, he used an old tool, six inch diversion valve. And it doesn't, it should have had a knife valve here too. That would have just ran opposite of this. That way it's, it would have uh, worked like that. But I mean, it is what it is. He used what he had. So what we have going on in here is you can see that I guess you can't really see, but it's just a rubber that flips from the back hole and then to the top hole. And this piece, this bar, goes like that and it just changes. I'm trying to not fall. It runs off that piston that we unhooked. But we have the new kit right here. These parts and then Chris, oh, this right here is the flipper which that one this is a rubber and that is what's wore off on the inside Christos cleaning his glasses so he looks professional on camera bitches. nobody bitches uh, so that's what we're doing so to do that you basically just cut the old one right off and slap the new one in the only thing we actually have to change because this is kind of homemade it's not for an exact cool manure pump that leg right there you want to point to it Christos that we have to cut off and we have to weld that onto the new piece. Uh, he's gonna go do that. And I guess he just left for today, but the engine is coming along. They had to order some parts, the peanut gasket, which is this, we don't have. And then Kristoff, it was a process because we don't have the serial number. And um, so on this thing, well, I'll tell after once he's done cutting so he can explain too because he was on the phone with them. But the serial number and the computer system, that is a story. Look at that man at work. I got to use the uh, cutting wheel on the stainless part because it will not torch. And we don't have a plasma cutter to torch stainless or cut stainless, I mean. Kristoff is going to slap this bad boy together. You don't want to show what you're doing? Come on. Look at the sigh of anger. <laughs> See my hand. <laughs> all right. So, this is all. We left the old bushings in it. We did put some new seals in it. She's pretty tight. So, we're going <laughs> to. Only you. <laughs> so, it's two pieces. We're going to put it together and then we're going to weld this. Closed. Actually, I'm going to weld it closed before I put it, put it in there. And then we'll put the back cover back on. Call it good. And that's about all. Well, we got this together. Um, we have to weld that, that pin back onto this bolt. That's where it was welded to, so it runs. It has to get welded here also so that it spins. Well, you can't really see it, but the flopper. So we got to do all that. We'll do that tomorrow though. We're done for today. Then we can put the cover back on. Yeah. On the, uh, so the engine is a complicated shit show. Yeah, it's getting there. So there's the, this engine doesn't match the truck. Um, the truck used to have a, a, a C15 in it and now it has a 3406E. And then this has the wire junction of a 70 pin to a 40 pin. So that's all different. Um, and then the computer, because they thought they could get the serial number for the engine off the computer. The computer came out of a payloader C9. Yeah. So when they were doing this, they flash deleted constru a construction equipment. Uh, so they flash deleted that whole computer, then programmed it for a 3406E. So we couldn't get the serial number for the engine off the computer because it didn't match. Um, so we had to get the kit through the bearing numbers and all that, but we have everything now. 
uh, it just made it for a long process. So whoever put this together actually knew what they were doing. <laughs> but we're, we're coming close. The head's back on. Injectors are here. That's in those box. We had to get brand new injectors in those ones. The old ones were 60%, all of them, or worse. They were just horrible, so we had to get new ones. We got the back of that done. That is all functioning now. And then we are changing four tires on the tanker. And this side needed a new bearings and new seals because the seals went out. Uh, Chris, I was checking oil and that one was dry. And the bearings stunk like it was, um, they were gonna blow soon. They weren't gonna last the first day. No, I don't think they would. So those bearings got changed. Got some new tires here. Over here, I think he already did these two. Yeah, those two are good. We actually put two new rims on because they just kept going flat and everything. So new rims, new valve stems, new tires because they just will not stop going flat on us. And then Kristoff also put some marker lights here, a blinker light in the middle, and then another marker light up front just so it has a couple more lights since it's so long. Um. We we're gonna attempt to put this back together today. We had a bunch of parts come in. And this tractor would be out of the shop, but the guy that does our starter and alternator, he's actually in the hospital. He was last week. Um, or was in the hospital, I mean. So he wasn't able to work on that. So hopefully that's done soon so we can get that tractor out of here because it's just sitting here waiting for that. And then it also needs the fuel hose that connects the top fuel tank to the bottom fuel tank. It's a special kind of like loop hose. I think it's inch and a quarter, inch and a half hose. Yeah, at least inch and a half. Well, I want to, but maybe not. Um, that's leaking if the top fuel tank's full. So jacket up. that is on back order because you know the tractor's so old. We put the other new rim on this side on the outside because you yes. know it's got to look fancy when it's hauling cow shit. I don't know if it looks fancy, but. Um, for, for the first load it'll look great until like you know we overfill it and it's just all over it but you know that that part doesn't matter we're not on that part right now but this will be coming or not coming this will be leaving the building shortly and get this thing out of here and it'll actually be fully ready for spring what we also did is I, <laughs> back last year I actually had an Instagram reel blow up because Ferdy was trying to open up this cover but he had the um, battery charger sitting here. <laughs> Everyone thought he was trying to do the tire with the battery charger. It's funny as hell. But um, that battery, he was actually trying to charge this. Um, and it always goes dead on us when it sits on the water. So Christoph put a toggle switch in here because it gets charged from the truck. But you know, sitting all winter, somehow it magically draws juice, even though nothing's on. But just sitting there so we put a power cut out on it so that way it's always good and every time he unhooks it he can just shut it off even if it's not like when we're spreading it like, hey, but when he's sitting for a month yeah when we go between cuts it can give issues sometimes not every time but a lot of times it'll give an issue if it sits too long so that way it's just he pops two pins opens it and shuts the shut off off it's good um so we did add a couple little things but we'll have this tanker ready to roll Oh yes, we were gonna the reflector tape. Even though it doesn't last long, at least where the shit hits it, we're gonna put it on just so it's there. Look at this spider monkey. He's gonna break a knee. He just greased the pivot spout. That way we don't gotta do it on the first day of spring. He's gonna grease the uh, undercarriage. The brakes. The undercarriage, the brakes, all that crap. Um, we're gonna hook the truck on. We gotta adjust the brakes because this one is breaking before the other three. So this one is a little too tight. The other ones are stopping right with the truck, so those are good. Um, we got all the reflectors on. As much as we had. Yeah, we ran out of our roll, but I think it's good enough. So she's got lights, some reflector tape, and she'll be ready to rock and roll for April. Will we be spreading on April 1st? That, I don't that know. we don't know. Because last year, we didn't start on the 1st. It was, I think it was a weekend or two. Uh, well, give me a light. Or that was the year before. But, you know, we'll see what the spring brings us. 
Which one is it? So, we got to uh, move everything. You can see it only moved to the left. So we're trying to get it all lubed up. We're not pissed off right off. It goes easy to the left, but to the right she needs. There we go. It's working now. You just need a little bit of lube. Chris out gets any coal so he can kiss it. Give him a nice little uppercut. So then other controls. Which one's that one do? Oh that that opens the uh is that open or close? Okay, so that opens the fill port, that way there's no splashing. You guys can't see it. She stopped working. Yeah, everything did. So this is why we're testing it. I got nothing. Oh, I think the remote battery's dying. Closed? Okay, yeah, we gotta put a new battery in the remote. And now, yeah, see that. So now we're testing, you see that flipper just moved? And then the knife valve. So the flipper's closing right there. And then it closes the knife valve. That's actually plumbed right together so you don't actually have to um, open anything up. So I gotta check oil, that's what I gotta do. On the system? system yeah, yeah th this runs its self-contained system. So it doesn't mix in with the truck PTO hydraulics. This right here runs off the truck. So we're gonna close this that way it's set for nursing. Because when you're loaded, it has to be switched to nursing, otherwise it'll run out. Um, a lot of new tanks, they put a knife valve right here so you could run it with this last remote and you always just shut the knife valve if you're just always spreading spread plating all day. That way you just open the knife valve and you don't have to mess with here. the spread plate. But it was the cheapest way to make it back then and it works just fine. You just gotta make sure you're spreading because if you ever see the middle of this tank covered in shit, there's a good chance uh, Ferdy or whoever was running it didn't open the knife, uh, didn't flip the valve all the way and it started coming out the nursing pipe and then the middle of the tank's covered in shit. That's how that normally goes. But uh, it's all working good. So she'll be ready for spring. Well, everything's adjusted, greased, working. We're gonna roll it out and maybe clean up for five minutes because it doesn't look too bad at the moment, but it actually is pretty shitty in here. And to the next thing, probably end this video. So thanks for watching. Till the next one.